We're now recording. Fantastic. I always forget to record. So, yeah, and then uh, I'm going to go through my story. So I won't go to so much about myself right now. And uh, I'm going to go through my stories and top tips, um, go through the, um, the, the information I shared recently at our local BOM over in Long Eaton. And I also did on a webinar for uh, one of the 10 Steps team um, last week. So, yes, welcome to everybody on tonight. So, let's, uh, let's get started, shall we? Let's have a look at the recognition for period three. Well, look at this. Welcome, everybody who joined in period three. The 20 new team members joined in period three. So welcome to you all if you're on this list. And also welcome to five new team members already in this period, period four. So welcome to you all. To you all. And I'm um, just thinking, I wonder who's on here, who's new tonight, who's on um, on here tonight. Let's have a quick look. See, Danielle, Danielle Child. Welcome, Danielle. And Emma, Emma's on. Emma Savage She's looking to get started, I believe, tomorrow. Who else have we got on tonight who's new? Um, boom, 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 boom. Um, oh, thank you. I should mention Michelle. Michelle Comfort's on tonight. Well done, Michelle. She picked up, Michelle picked up, I don't know if you saw it in the message loop, she picked up um, an 80 pound order today from a customer who she'd written off. She'd been back for their book three times. She was um, about five weeks ago. She'd been back for three times that we teach and hadn't got the catalog back. And all of a sudden, she got this phone call. So, yeah, I've got an order, 80 pound order, which is absolutely fantastic. So, it just shows you your books can be working for you out there, even if you think. They're not. Just get your books out, catalogs out, and you will get orders. So fantastic. So yes, yeah, so welcome to everybody who joined the team last period and also this period so far. And when you first join the business, we have Clean Easy Incentivize with you. It allows you to have a way of getting free catalogs. Okay, we have what we call a, the, your 30, the welcome reward. So you have your 60, uh, 30 day welcome reward and your 60 day welcome reward, whereby you can get free catalogs. So in your first 30 days, as soon as you do 150 pounds, you can select one of the, the welcome rewards. So it's 50, you can have either 50 catalogs or you can have some dropship credits. We always recommend getting the catalogs because they're gonna generate you um, extra orders very quickly if you start working with catalogs, if you didn't get them when you first got started. So get to 150 pounds worth of orders very, very quickly in your first 30 days, 50 free catalogs. Then get to £600 worth of orders within your first 30 days and you will get to choose two more free rewards. So you can get another 100 catalogues if you want them. And then part two of the welcome rewards is then get up to £1,200 worth of orders in your first 60 days and you can choose another two free rewards. So you can get another 100 catalogues or you can get some dropship credits, whichever you prefer. And uh, so if you're still within your 60 days, you still have options of getting free catalogs and especially if you're in your 30 days still you still have the ability to get free catalogs going in to 60 days as well so who got free catalogs who hit welcome rewards in period three let's have a look shall we well hats off and well very well down to angie brown and tammy downham they both achieved 150 catalogs so far in their welcome rewards and they still got the option i believe of getting another 100 as well so they both did 150 pounds very, very quickly. And then they got up to 600 pounds in their first 30 days and had 150 catalogs so far. Those receiving 50 catalogs in period three, doing 150 pounds in their first 30 days, were Michael Aquilina, Rebecca Penny, Freya Randall, Sammy Russell, Julie Nichols, Christine Jones, Linda King, Lamar Verney, Laura McWinney, and Jody Roberts. I know many of you there are still have the option of hitting your 600 pounds worth of orders in your first 30 days if you get busy with it. And if you're not sure where you are with that, speak to your sponsor, speak to your successful upline because they'll be able to help you track it and show you how, how you can track that so you know where you are with it so that you can get those free catalogs that are going to help you build your business and give you that fantastic start. So well done to everybody on here. And our top 25 retailers in period three, which is absolutely fantastic, some phenomenal retail figures. Top of the shop, Kirsty Slater and Michael Conroy, 5,032 pounds. Well done, guys. Absolutely fantastic. And that takes some hard graft. And they've done that through hard graft over the last 12 months and building a customer base. And they're reaping the rewards from that now. And that's going to pay them for many, many years to come, that customer base they've built. And they've put lots of, Michael's been putting lots of catalogs out to, um, to get this um, 
retail going with support from Kirsty, who's there busy helping get the catalogs set up and get the deliveries ready to go out. So they're a great partnership working together. Then ourselves in second place, then Matima and Paul with 2,708 pounds. Jane Hewan had a fantastic period last period of retail, over 2,000 pounds in retail. So well done, you guys. Trudy Butterworth, 1,676. And I'm, I'm sneaky feeling that might be Trudy's best retail as well so far. Jude with 1,500 pounds. Well done, Jude. Sue Dickerson, 1,100 pounds. Neil Cochran, just over 1,000. Um, Barry Stanton, just short of 1,000. Dimpton and Andy, 915, which is growing all the time for them. Monica March in 884. Emma and Steph, £820. Cheryl Kelly, 800 And Cheryl did really, really well getting that figure going because she, she started off slow in period three and really hit it um, in the second two weeks and really did smash that. Um, Michelle Comfort, £796. Well done, Michelle. Angie did 784 Tammy did 783 Andrew Hurt, 781 Rosie, 763 Shirley McCormick, 733 Jackie Pomeroy, 686 Emily Jamieson, new in the business, 661. Trevor Green, 610. Mariella Aquilina, 561. Judith Coates, 470. And Jenny Priest, 429. So well done, everybody on there, the top 25. The team turnover for the whole team, which is everybody, guys, all you guys out there placing orders last period, team turnover, 37,576. So it's fantastic. That's our best ever period three. And um, that's 76 of you placing orders. So hats off and well done to each and every one of you. Sponsoring, period three, 20 new team members. Well done, guys. Top of the shop, Jude Newton with three new team members. And Dimpton and Andy Doherty, three new team members. Well done. Then Angie Brown with two. Cal Polisetti with two. Emma and Steph with two. Monica Marching with one. Judith Coates, Jane Heeran, Shirley McCormick. Tammy Downham, Trudy Butterworth, ourselves, Jackie Pomeroy, Emily Jamison, and Janet Meekle, all with one. Well done, well done. And I know some of you, some of you on there have only just joined the business as well. Like Janet Meekle has only just joined the business. Tammy's not been in long as well. So it's really, really good to see. I think it was Shirley's first person she joined had joined the business. My memory serves you right. I might be wrong, but well done to each and every one of you. So some other recognition just to go through. New 10 percenters on the uh, left hand side of the screen there. You will see the turnover there. New 10 percenters for last period. So there's what seven new people, people hit 10 percent, the first bonus level for the first time last period. That's Angie Sampson, Phil Monk, Emily Jameson, Rosie Bowers, Tammy Downham, Michelle Comfort, and Andrew Hurt. Good well done to all of you for hitting that, ten, that first bonus level. So that's onwards and upwards now, heading for the 13 percent level, which We'd like to recognise and say well done to Dimpano and Andy who hit the 13% bonus level last period, which is the second bonus level you can achieve. Next one on from 10%. So well done, guys. It's absolutely fantastic. And it's our privilege that we we're able to recognise them at the 10 Steps event last weekend. Some other recognition that we put in the, uh, the team page for the end of the period. Well, team builders. Yeah. This business is built on building a team, networking, and helping other people to generate that income they're looking for to create that lifestyle that they want. And our top team builders um, last period, um, Michael and Kirsty, £9,190 as a team. Fantastic. Jude Newton and her team, the Bright Stars, £7,870. Monica Marchin, their business as a whole, which includes Michael and Kirsty. 14,769, which is fantastic. Yeah, outside of that, had a PSG of 5,580, so that's growing again, which is really, really good to see. Mariella Aquilina, 4,718, well done, Mariella. Emma and Steph, 3,189, and I know that's going to grow this period because Emma's now um, unemployed. She handed her notice in and she left her, her job at the end of last week, which was absolutely fantastic, so I know that's going to grow in this uh, coming weeks and periods. Jane Heeran, 2,772. Paul and Tina, 2,718. Sue Dickerson, 2,332. Trudy, 2,259. Dimpton and Andy, 1,914. Neil Cochran, 1,097. And Angie Sampson, 999 pounds. Well done to all of you. And you can see there inside Monica's team, 
the people that are building inside Monica's team. So well done to everybody on that list there for achieving different levels and growing their businesses. Well done to you all. And Jude's business, all those retailers and Jude's business was absolutely fantastic. So many people putting orders through at different levels. And it was just great to see because you can do whatever you want with this business based on what you want to get out of it. It's entirely in your control. And then Kirsty and Michael's business, yeah, their team turned over £9,190. And again, these are all people who were placing orders there in their business last period. So well done to all of you. And I'd just like to make a, a special mention here to Andy, Andy Doherty, who placed, posted this um, post up in the team group last week, which was, which was a great post because it just shows you the orders are out there. Yeah, it was just a small drop, hadn't put that many books out, went into the area on that one road and picked up five orders. And, um, and they're following on from another distributor. So they've still got customers. I mean, it's just a matter of getting your books out and going back and, and do at least three times to cover the area and then moving on to new areas and you'll get orders. So well done, Andy. Thanks for posting that up. And I'd like to say well done again to everybody who got to this 10 Steps Birmingham meeting um, on Sunday. It was a great event in a new venue, which is a really, really lovely venue. Um, so well done to everybody who got to that. And uh, we've got some good stuff there to come away with. So just wanted to touch on the Distributor of the Year competition and, and Feeding into that is the distributor of the period competition. Okay, we have a distributor of the year competition where one successful distributorship is going to get a luxury weekend away um, for six people, up to six people down in North Devon at Woodford Bridge Coaching Inn. And it's a gorgeous place, been there a couple of times, it really, really is lovely facilities in a nice area of North Devon, not far from the North Devon coast. So it is it's a fantastic place. And um, so, yeah, be aware of that. Yeah. Anybody can achieve this, and it's done on the criteria of things that are going to help you build the business. And feeding into that is the distributor of the period. And for the distributor of the period, you can get 53 leads. But I'm not going to announce it tonight. Anybody who's hoping I was going to announce it, I'm not going to announce it tonight. I did want to let you know that we will be announcing it at the BOM tomorrow evening. And if everything goes to plan, um, I plan on um, Facebook living it into the team group so that when it is announced, everybody if they, if gets the opportunity to be part of that, even if they're not close enough to get along to Long Eaton Recruitment Opportunity Meeting tomorrow night. So watch out for that tomorrow evening in the team group. We will be announcing who the distributor of the period is and who's going to get the 53 leads for period three. Okay. I believe that's the end of my recognition, and I think it is, yes. So what I want to play for you now is just a short little video from Rob Foster. Rob Foster's our mentor, somebody we work closely with, learn a lot about this business, and uh, Rob has built a business, and he earns about a £1,000 a day in this business. Yeah, I did say that right, a £1,000 a day, Rob earns, and anybody can do that if they get busy with it and take the right actions and really get stuck into it. You can build that income up if you want to. Rob has. He joined in 1993 and he was on the bones of his backside when he got started. And he had county court judgments. He had over £40,000 worth of debt. And um, yeah, he had, had a lot of things going against him at that time. But he saw it was available with Clean Easy, got stuck in with it. People were buying from the catalogues. He could see it working. So he just got busy with it, shared it with lots and lots of people and helped lots and lots of people. So you can do the same. So yes, this is Rob now just explaining the business plan, how the business works, how you can build your business up, how you can build the income um, to the level that you want it and build up the bigger income as, as well. So sit back, take some notes if need be, learn this guys, learn how this, what, what he says here, because then you can share this with other people. You can, if you learn to do the first part of this and you can draw it out, you can show anybody how the business works anywhere you want to if you don't have access to anything else. Here we go. Hi, my name's Rob Foster, and at the time of this recording, I've actually been with Clean Easy for 20 years. What I'm hopefully gonna show you now in just a few minutes is how to make money with Clean Easy. Basically, in a nutshell, 
we make our money two different ways. We make commission on anything we do with the catalogs ourselves, and there's a various different ways of doing that, and with the online shop that we now have. And also, we make a bonus every month based on how well our little team perform. Now, it's up to you how many people you might want to introduce into your team. And when I say team, it can just be people, friends, family, or from a, people from a little advert that you might have placed in a local shop window or something like that, or an advert online. But basically, very, very simple concept. This simple system has took me from absolutely broke, earning less than a £1,000 a month in 1993 when I joined, through to a now a business which turns over millions and obviously an income to match. Now, in a nutshell... What we're looking to build here is a royalty income, an ongoing residual income, the kind of income that most people could never even dream of. It's the kind of income that people would get from writing books or writing a song, and every single month they still receive an income based on what they did. Now, I'll just run through how the money's made. If we look at step one, let's say this was you, and you did about £600 worth of orders in the month. Now, some people do ten times that. We literally have a couple of people in our team, two or three of the top retailers in our team, do around about £8,000 a month personal retail. Now that's extreme, not, any, not many people do that sort of figure, but if you do about £600 worth of business, you earn about £124, and that's your business getting up and running. The simple way to do that is just to hand out catalogues to friends and family, some people deliver them around their local area, or we have this fantastic online shop now. So if you pass out the link to your online shop, you can literally receive orders from up and down the country from friends and relatives who might go on your online shop and place an order. Now, we make commission on what we do there. With any orders that we take ourselves, you get a commission based on that. It's a very, very simple system, and that's getting your business up and running. That's step one. Now, I'm just going to show you now on step two how you can actually double your income but without actually doing much more yourself. Now, here's you again. Let's say you did about £600 again. That's just dealing with a few customers who are now starting to buy from you on a regular basis. Again, you'd make £124 based on the £600 that you did. But over the course of that month, let's say you've introduced your friend, and they do £600 worth of business, and then somebody perhaps from an advertisement. could be a simple shop window advert that you place in your local newsagent. Um, a sales rep was passing by. You read the advert, requested some more information. You either sent them some information in the post or online, whichever way you did it, and he decides you'd like to get involved, and he could be up in Newcastle. So now you've got a friend locally, and then the chap from, and his girlfriend who was saving up to get married up in Newcastle. Let's say that they do £600 each. So effectively, you've now just expanded your business. It's like a little mini franchise, if you like. You've now got two people now who are doing Clean Easy because of you. Now, the company will recognize that. In fact, each and every month from now on, forever, because you were the link that brought in that extra business, because you were the extra link that brought in that business, Clean Easy now has an £1,800 team turnover because of you. You're doing 600 and your two new people are doing 600. So your little team's now doing 1,800 pound team turnover. Now for that, you get an extra 146 pound bonus. So this month, you've done no more than you did last month, about 600, but you've doubled your money. You've more than doubled your money. In fact, you learn this month around about 270 pound a month. And that's for just a few hours a week of you doing your little bit. Now let's just take this on another step. Let's say in three months' time, six months' time, it could be 18 months' time. There's no race, there's no target, it's entirely up to you. Now, let's say step three. You've now got some regular customers. You've got people who have, each time you go back, they're ordering from you. So let's say you're now doing about a £1,000 a month yourself. And you've now introduced your friend, a neighbour, your cousin, some people off advertisements, a work colleague. Let's just say for this example, you've got about ten people in your little team. And those ten people are all doing about the same as you. About a £1,000 a month each. Well, very, very simply, if you've got a little team doing £11,000 team turnover, plus your, well, £11,000 team turnover in total, there's your 1000 plus the 10 people that's doing 1000 On that, you're going to receive your retail commission on the little bit that you've done yourself, but you've also now got bonus based on your team turnover. Now, Clean Easy wouldn't have that business if it wasn't for you. So basically, in a nutshell, you get a slice of the profit, if you like. It's almost like a profit-sharing scheme, if you look at it like that. Your Clean Easy is going to give you a slice of the profit because you brought in that extra business. And in that little example there, £11,000 team turnover, you'd be picking up now around about £1,234 a month. Now, what's exciting about that is it's actually now sort of a full-time wage for something that you're just doing in your spare time. Because really all you're doing, if you just look at the £1,000, 
all you're doing is probably looking after 25 or 30 customers every week. And those 25 or 30 customers are spending on average £10, that's all. If 25 customers per week spend £10, that's £250 a week you're putting through, and you did that for four weeks, there's £1,000. And if everyone else just copied that very, very simple system, you can see now how the volume could begin to grow. Now that simple system is all I've shown people for the last 20 years. Step one, step two, step three. It really is that simple. But the exciting thing is, there's no limit to how much you can earn. Step three, you don't just have to stop. You can introduce more than 10 people. The people that you've introduced can introduce people. Obviously, the percentages get smaller that, you, that you're going to earn, but you're going to get a percentage of your total team turnover, and it goes on and on and on, and it's paid monthly, month in, month out. Another really interesting thing worth pointing out here is that even if you couldn't do your thousand yourself, say you were ill or you'd been on holiday or you'd had work commitments or family commitments, you'd still earn around about £900 because your team turnover was still around £10,000 even without you. Like I said, I've been doing it now since 1993 and we've, we've built up an incredible income across those years. Now, just moving it on one more step further. Let's say a few years down the road now, would we'll call this step four. Let's say you've still got about the same business, about £11,000 with about 10 people, so you've duplicated that again. You've got that going on still. You're still making about £1,234. But let's, for this example, just show that about five of your people, five of the people that you introduced, have now gone on to build something similar. So your friend's now got a £10,000 business. Your cousin's now built a £20,000 business. Maybe your next-door neighbour had joined, and he's now gone on to build a £10,000 team business, somebody from a little advert or a little flyer or something like that, they've gone on and built a 10 or a 20,000 pound business. So just using the example of five people who literally copy what you did in step three, and perhaps take it even a little bit further than that, if you've got pretty much what you had in step three yourself going on anyway, that would bring you in about 1,234 pound a month. And in this example here, if five people have copied you and a couple of other people have done a little bit more, you can see from this small example, you now have a business that's turning over about £81,000 a month. And for that, you're picking up 1234 on your personal sales group, step three, if you like. You're picking up now on the business that you've built on those five bigger legs, about £3,000 a month, just over three. So in total, you're now earning around about £4,384 a month in this example here. Now, that, that's about £57,000 a year from something that you're just doing in your spare time. Now, over the last few years, like I say, it's 20 years for me now at the time of this recording, over the last few years, we've helped many, many people across our team, up and down the country, achieve incomes like this. There is so much success available with Clean Easy, it's absolutely incredible. What I would suggest you do is speak to the person who directed you to this video, speak to that person, get some more information, ask us a look at some of the press articles that are available, because there are people up and down the country that have actually been featured in national and local newspapers as well, showing incredible successes. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Hi, my name's Rob Foster. Hi guys, very, very powerful, the circles. Wouldn't you say, what you can achieve with this business and how simple it is, that just, Rob just shows you that how simple this business can be put together. Take responsibility to around about a thousand pounds worth of retail orders every four weeks and just show other people how to do the same and build up that team to the level you want to take it to. It's entirely up to you. So you can see, you can just do the retail if you wanted to, just with a thousand pounds worth of retail orders, depending on what catalog it was from, you would earn around 250 pounds, um, 250, 260, 270, depending on which catalogs you were using every four weeks with a thousand pounds worth of orders. Uh, but then if you start building it more and you have other people do the same, you can see that your income can grow. So absolutely fantastic. It's great to, um, to, to see that and learn that so that you know how the business works. So, right, what do I want to do now? Now I want to tell you a little bit of my story tonight. Some of you are at the Long Eaton meeting a few weeks ago. I'm seeing this, uh, but I just want to share with you how I got started and what the business has done for me and done for us um, and uh, where we want to take 
the business right now. So a curious tale. Um, why a curious tale? Well, you'll find out in a moment. All will become clear in a moment. Okay. So has anybody out there, uh, anybody out there experienced the money running out before the month does? Because that's where I was at when I was looking for something. Yeah, The money was running out before the month did. And um, I needed to find a way of bringing in some extra income because we were getting further and further and further into debt. Okay, I was 1994. I was um, working for a company. Well, I started working for a company called DHL up at East Midlands Airport as a part time courier. Uh, you can see where the courier's tail comes in now. I was a part time courier, and during my career with them, I worked my way up through the career ranks uh, to a team leader. Um, to a service centre supervisor, um, and finally finishing as a senior supervisor um, yeah, within the service centre. And um, I was on good money. I was on £30,000 a year when I was there. But along with that good money becomes added responsibility. And they wanted a big chunk of my backside for that money. I was doing sort of 60, 60 plus hours a week on a 37 hour contract. Um, I couldn't just down tools and go home when I wanted to go home. I had to be there when they needed to be to be there. And if I was on call, the alarm went off. I had to drive there uh, if the alarm went off. It might have been on a Saturday, it might be in the middle of a Sunday afternoon. I had to go and do that. And, um, and I didn't like that, to be honest with you. It wasn't what I wanted to be doing. Um, get to that level, it's, it's not what I wanted to be doing. So I was working for DHL. And at the time, um, with my, my then wife, um, we became, or she became pregnant, and um, carrying, uh, carrying our children. And um, so all of a sudden, two wages became one, okay? And um, we had twins, Lily and Rebecca, and, um, and I, was, well, I was happy to carry on working, and we temporarily sustained living just on one wage for a number of years so that my ex-wife could stay at home and look after the children okay but to do that we got ourselves into debt okay we were poor really and as you can see there when you have too much month at the end of the money it means you are poor and we were we were poor we had to do something about that we had these two gorgeous girls, and uh, this was taken in 2006, just before I got started with, uh, with Clean Easy. And um, this was my why, why I needed to make a difference, why I needed to do something about it, so that we could give them the life that we wanted to give them, the lifestyle we wanted to give them. But we were in this trap. Yeah, i go out to work, I'd get a paycheck, we'd pay the bills, yeah, we live on a bit of a sale lifestyle, We're spending our money where we could to get the things we wanted uh, in the most affordable way, which wasn't always the things we wanted to get. So we had to go for the cheaper stuff sometimes. We had to stretch our money. Didn't have any savings, not saving any money really at that time, and um, getting further and further into debt. And that was the cycle we were on. And I had to break that cycle. So how was I going to do that? Well, that was a good question. How was I going to do that? Okay. We didn't want to put the children into childcare. Okay. Childcare costs a fortune. So for me, it was is, is a non-starter because why go to work and pay somebody else to look after your children when it's going to cost you just as much to pay them if, for what you're going to earn from work? Now, I, I know um, in the Kiffin in the Star Group, was solicitor and she her childcare cost her about 800 pounds a month and i think she was earning about a thousand pounds or something around there and um pounds thousand pounds and it, it left her with i think yeah it's maybe a little bit more than that i think it left her with about 600 pounds after she paid her childcare. and she made the decision to get started in the clean easy business because she was shown a way she could earn 600 pounds a month without having to go to work you know, stay at home with the kids. So she was for her, it was like, yeah, I've had enough of that. I'm staying at home, built up an income, 600 pounds and more now to stay at home with the kids. So 
So for me, childcare wasn't an option. It was too expensive and we didn't want to give the kids to somebody else to look after. Part-time job wasn't feasible. I couldn't do a part-time job because my hours were all over the place. As I always said, my hours were, 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 were long hours. I have, sometimes I started early, sometimes I finished late. And I didn't always know where I was going to be. So a part-time job was out the window. And I looked at franchises as well. I always fancied working for myself as well. At the back of my head, there was this, this uh, gnawing thing to say that I'd like to work for myself. I knew I wanted to do more, really. But I looked at franchises, and they were out of our price range. They, they, they want big bucks for that, thousands and thousands of pounds and pounds. I don't think anybody's ever looked at franchising. But they want a lot of money for that. So that was an option either, because they didn't have any money. That wasn't going to happen. So what happened? Well, I answered an advert on the internet. I was looking for lots of things. I answered that advert on the internet. And, um, and I ended up doing catalogs. And I speak to some people and they go, you go from a £30,000 a year job to doing catalogs? What's that all about? Well, what was that all about? That was all about being shown what was available with this business. I hadn't heard of Clean Easy when I came across it. But I was shown different testimonials. I was shown checks and stories, testimonials of different people who were making the business work and earning these sorts of incomes, who were earning these incomes. I was shown a check of a postman and a bar manager, which was Dave Pendleton Smith and his wife Anne, yeah, earning £8,000 plus over four weeks. I was shown checks of £4,000 plus for a housewife, which is Sue Burris, yeah, housewife working on her own. Her husband was in the, in the uh, Merchant Navy, maybe the other side of the world most of the year, and she was doing this on her own around her horses. I was shown a check of an ex-retail manager and hotel receptionist. Um, and um, Glenn, I'm far from to think Glenn's surname now, um, but Glenn and his wife, ex-retail manager and hotel receptionist, checks of £4,000 plus. Then I was shown checks of £2,000 plus uh, of Michelle Kennedy uh, in, uh, in the business. Yeah, school teacher, part time, only two thousand pound plus, and I was shown a check of two hundred seventy-three pounds by a mum who just got started you know, with two kids. And I thought, well, if they can do that, I can put some catalogs out. Surely I can do the same with this. I saw the bigger picture. I saw what was what was available. I saw what they were doing. I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to give this a go. So I did. I got started. I got started with two hundred catalogs. We didn't have the 250 catalogue kit then. We didn't have any online. And it cost me £165, if I remember rightly, to get started. No £25 kit, no £50 kit, no £99 kit. I had to invest £165 at the time. And I didn't have any money. But I knew I had to do something. So good old flexible friend, credit card come out yet again, more debt. But I knew it was going to be a good investment. I knew, I just knew I would, I, I, I would be able to make it work. I could get the catalogs out, and which I did. So I got started on the 24th of April, 2006, and my first bonus came through 18th of May, 2006. I earned myself 233 pounds and 31 pence for a four week period, just working the catalogs. And this was doing it around my full-time job. So sometimes I had to go out early in the morning to get the catalogs out. Sometimes I was out late at night picking the catalogs up or putting them out, it depended. I'd be out from anywhere from half past five, six in the morning, putting books out, trying to get off to work, and I'd be out up to nine o'clock picking books up. Sometimes I'd be out to 10 o'clock picking books up. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't recommend knocking on anybody's door after nine o'clock, but I would go round and scoot round and pick up books off the doorsteps between nine and 10 if I needed to, to make it work, because I had to make it work. I had to get that money in, and I could do that. It was my time. And, and so we made it work and took it on from there. The one sticking point with it was though, my wife wasn't that keen on doing it when I got started. I sort of made the decision, I'm gonna do this. She wasn't that keen, but I got started anyway. And um, she helped me to start with. She put the books out once, I think went back from once and that was it. It wasn't her thing. She couldn't handle the things, the challenges we had to handle. All, she, all, all she could see was people not leaving the books out and people not wanting the books and not getting an order in every single catalog which she was expecting to get more orders but we know it doesn't work like that what she didn't see was that we were getting the majority of our books back and we were getting orders and i was following the system that was shown and 
He said, if you follow this system, you'll get to your first bonus level in your first four weeks, which I did. So it works, but she couldn't deal with that. So I was doing this on my own, more or less, from then on in, after that first four weeks, okay? And I slowly build it up, bit by bit, consistent with the retail. Yeah, I had some ups and downs in a few places, working around my job, but I was pretty consistent most of the time, and I was consistently hitting my 10% bonus every period, and then up to the 13% bonus every period with the retail. I was doing between 1,000 and pounds worth of retail every four weeks. And I started to get into the personal development. I started going to, to the events, the, the local events, and I we were going to seminars with Rob Foster. And you can see myself and Trace here in Dubai with Rob. And I'll tell, talk to you more about Dubai in a moment. But the reason I show this slide is because Rob had a profound impact on me at one of his events. One of his events we went to, I can remember it now, it was at the Don Valley Stadium in Sheffield, and we were there, it was a packed room, I couldn't tell you in the room now, but it was a packed room, I know that, and Rob was just on fire. He was sharing his experience, he was sharing his knowledge, and he was absolutely inspirational that day. And there was just something he said that just made the penny drop with me. It just made me make that decision that enough was enough. I'm going to make this business work. I'm going to get to the gold distributor because I've been aiming for gold for a while. And I'm trying to think when this was. This was this was really in 2000. This was in 2007. And I've been aiming for gold. And I'll be slowly moving on, but I hadn't been moving that fast with it. But it must have been around about May, probably about a year into the business, I should think, that I went to this event. And I decided then that that was enough, enough. I'm going to go gold, regardless of whatever. And I'm going to get out of my job. I'm going to hand my notice in, and I'm going to go gold, and I'm going to make this work. I decided to burn my bridges and get stuck into it, which I did. So, June 2007, I handed my notes in, and this was a fantastic day. As you can see on the left-hand side, it is my uh, copy of my resignation note to my boss um, at DHL, and uh, I took this into him and handed it over to him. He opened the envelope, he opened it out, he read it, he looked at it, he looked up at me, he looked back down at it again, he looked up at me, he said, are you serious? I said, yeah, I'm serious. I said. Uh, I'm out of here. Thank you ever so much for everything you've done, but I'm, uh, I'm handing my notice in. And that was it. I was then on three months' notice because the level I was at, I had to work three months. But that three months was absolutely fantastic. It was a great time because straight away, they removed all my managerial responsibilities. They took them all away from me. They didn't want me involved in any of the managerial stuff, any of the managerial meetings, anything going on anymore. And I got given career route. I got put back onto the road as a courier, which was an absolutely fantastic, it was like a, a breath of fresh air, lots of weight taken off my shoulders. I just had to turn up for work in the morning, sort my parcels out, go out and deliver them, pick up my parcels during the day, go back, enter the van and go home. And I did that for three months. Yeah? No alarm, no, no call outs for alarms, no early mornings or late nights, I had to stay longer than I needed to, I just had to do that job, which was fantastic. But one that's even better when I was doing that, it allowed me to meet all these people when I was doing my parcels. Everywhere I went to deliver parcels, I was meeting people where I was picking them up and I was chatting to people and I was sharing the business with them. And I wouldn't have been able to do that before. So as well as just being out and about in the van, I was sharing the business at the same time, which was fantastic. But what did happen is after probably about four weeks, probably about a month into into to doing that, I got pulled into my manager's office. And um, do you know what he said? He asked me to stop talking to, the, to the, um, our customers about my business. <laughs> and he made my inside, I was sort of laughing, I was smiling. And, and I said, okay, yeah, oh, sure thing, Mike, yeah, I won't do it anymore. Yeah, I understand, yeah, I won't do it anymore. So off I went. Back out on the road, the next to the career, I carried on. I thought, what are you gonna do? What are they gonna do? Sack me? So I just carried on, and they didn't say anything after that, because what could they do? They couldn't do anything. 
So yeah, I worked my three months notice. Last bonus check, um, or definitely bonus check just before I finished. I finished uh, with DHL at the end of September. So at the beginning of September, my bonus check was uh, 372 pounds altogether. And then by the 1st of um, November, 2011, my check was over 2,000 pounds. And, and that's where it needed to be. And that was, I can't even notice in, got stuck in, and I've not looked back. Not had a job now since the end of September, 2007. Been unemployed since then, and um, been working for myself ever since. And it wouldn't change it for the world. Wouldn't change it for the world. So sometimes, guys, sometimes you've got to make that decision. And you have, you have to burn your bridges to make you do the things that you need to do. Because sometimes if you're in your comfort zone or feeling comfortable, you won't step up and do the things you need to do because you're comfortable. So sometimes you have to do something to create that discomfort, to get you off your backside and go and do what you want to do. Yeah, we might say we're going to do these things, but sometimes we need something to make us get out there and do it. And what I would also say is the events. The event changed everything for me with Rob Foster. And you never know when that event is going to be. So if you're not going to the events, if you're not getting to your local opportunity meeting, if you're not getting along to your 10-step workshop, if you're not getting to um, other company events that are going on, you're missing that opportunity to learn, to grow, and maybe have that bit of information come to you that's going to change your life completely. So the events are key in this business, and that's what changed it for me. So, moving on. I left my job in, in the September 2007. Unfortunately, by the end of 2007, my marriage failed. My marriage wasn't in a good place anyway, for various reasons. And um, so it wasn't something that, that suddenly came out of the blue. But the end of 2007, Clean easy, me start not my own business was the final nail in the coffin because uh, it wasn't something my ex-wife wanted to do, so we parted ways. I carried on with my clean easy business and forged ahead. Come 2009, I found a new partner. I got together with the gorgeous Tracy Payne and we put ourselves in a fantastic position. We brought our families together and we brought our businesses together. Okay. And um, that changed uh, changed things completely as well. As you can see, here we are in 2009. The kids have all grown tremendously. If you've met our kids now, and I've got a couple of pictures at the end that you'll see. So we were working our business together and looking to move it on. We retailed heavily. We still retailed heavily because we needed that income from the retail. That's the decision I made to do, to be able to give up my job. I was, ha I was happy to do some bigger retail so that I could work for myself so that we could have that income coming in that we wanted and needed, but we are our own bosses. When you're your own boss, you don't have to ask for time off. You don't ask, have to ask to go to the kids' plays, the kids' um, sports days, um, parents' evenings. You can get to everything because you choose. You don't have to ask for that permission to get that time off. I could be at home for Christmases. I didn't have to, to put the, my name in a hat and hopefully I would be drawn out. Even if I was in a managerial position at Christmas, I still had to take responsibility for certain areas over Christmas. Not anymore, because we work for ourselves. So we retailed quite heavily in the early days. And as you can see here, uh, this was in 2011. We were doing really, really well with our catalogue retail. And we also had, uh, we were also doing some party planning at the time as well here. We were doing some parties as well, as well as uh, um, our retail with the catalogues. And, um, and various other things that I do in my retail um, training um, leading up to Christmas. There's lots of different ways that you can generate retail that I do in a lot of training that helped us generate these retail figures. And you can see in period 10, 2011, which was in September, we retailed just over £6,100. And we, with our team as well, we earned ourselves £3,416 because of the team we had outside of our own retail as well. And then two periods on, we retailed just short of £7,200. This was at, uh, in November, and we earned ourselves a cheque of over £4,000. And when that cheque came through, we were absolutely gobsmacked that it came through. This is what was our goal. Our goal was to hit a four grand cheque. Um, and when it came through, it's like, wow, we did it. We didn't know whether we were or, or not exactly, but we did it. 
And it was absolutely fantastic feeling to be able to hit that. And knowing we'd done that, we had control to do that. So we were over the moon with that. But then what happened? Well, we hit a bit of a plateau. We plateaued in 2012, 2013, 2014, and our average turnover was about 20,000 pound a period. So we got, got stuck, and that can happen sometimes for a number of reasons. We got stuck, and we knew we had to make some changes. We need to change some things to move it on. Okay, so what happened? Well, one of the things that, that's always been in my mind that I always remember is Jackie White. Jackie White has built a tremendous business with her uh, husband, Peter and um, one of our mentors and somebody that we'll, turn, we'll chat to um, when we see her and um, one of the things i always remember her saying when i first got started she always says that if you want a ten thousand pound a period income you've got to work like you're already receiving it and i didn't really understand that fully when i first heard that but after a while the penny the penny dropped it wasn't about working like a headless chicken yeah you know? being really, 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 really busy, but not really getting anywhere and maybe doing the wrong things. It's about working smart, working hard, working, you know, working hard, getting stuck in, taking lots of action, but working smart. And for me, the penny drop that it's about putting things in place that you would have in place if you were earning a 10,000 pound every four weeks. So it's like putting things, what, what, would, what would somebody do who's earning that sort of money? Well, they'd be doing, they'd have various events on, they'd be coaching people. So we put a, uh, opportunity meeting in place. We put we started our own opportunity meeting over long eating. We put that in place. We thought about okay, what do we need else do we need to do? We need to have webinars. We put webinars in place. We started doing all the things that the leaders did in the business, you know, regards to coaching and supporting their team. That was the start. That was the the seed. That's that what happened in the back of our mind. Okay, we need to put things in place that's gonna that the people at that level we want to get to have already got in place. Even though we're not there yet, we need to start putting them in place now. And that will get us to that level. That makes sense. So that's what we started to do. 2015, a few things changed as well here. The company got bought by an American company. It's changed things completely. Have new owners. We had a new range come out, the K-Life range came out, which changed things again. We had the, the, the advent of the online revolution within the business. Because the online side of the business hasn't been around that long. It's only been around, it's getting off a couple of years now. So that's changed things as well. And we changed our system slightly. We changed what we did. We, had, we, we, we came across a, 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 a slightly adapted system to what we were doing and we implemented it. We put a structure in place that was the same, we, we hadn't changed, didn't change anything fundamentally, but we still had a, we had a structure in place. We had documents, documented system that we could use. We had a script book, we had a workbook. You know, we had um, a website that we could access with various different um, parts of the system that we could access and use, which we didn't have before. We had various things, but it changed. It wasn't always the same things. We were always being sort of changed and adjusted. Uh, and it wasn't something that when anybody joined the business, they could pick up really, really simply. We now had a new system that anybody joined the business could pick up really, really simply. And that helped us with our duplication. And we also came across a guy called Dave O'Connor, as you can see in this picture here of me and Trace, Dave O'Connor. We came across Dave um, through a CV set that we got sent. As you can see that in the picture here, how to win the inner game of MLM. And this was sent to us from Knowledge is King. And Knowledge is King supplies a lot of personal development books. And we, we subscribe to their book of the month club. Whereas by the we get a book sent to us every period. Um, but because we subscribe to the Book of the Month Club, we get a cheaper rate. And one month we got this CD set come through. And we started listening to this stuff that Dave was talking about. And a lot of it was stuff that I'd heard before. So it's um, supported by what I heard before. It was also put across in a different way as well, how he was doing it. So that was interesting. And then I came across him doing a one-day event through Facebook. On Facebook, I saw him advertising a one-day event, and it was only thirty pounds. And for me, that was a no-brainer because we knew what other people charged for those sorts of events. And I've heard his stuff, and I said to Tracy, "Should we go?" And we made the decision to go. And you can see a picture there on here 
uh, of one of his one day events that we went to and it was absolutely fantastic it really 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 helped us the stuff we got from that helped us tremendously we picked up some other bits and pieces other stuff that he he was sharing we accessed his network marketing leadership academy which was another investment on, on our behalf but we, we we knew we had to do something we had to, to change something to take us on to the next level and personal development will do that for you sometimes your business will get to a certain level and it will stay there until you grow until you get until you move on to the next level then your business will go with you so that had a big impact on us so we wanted to create an environment for success we wanted a duplicatable system which we were putting in place and, we, and we've got one now that we were happy with we really like the structure of it and we got stuck into using that and sharing it within the team we wanted to no, nurture growth within the team by having something that people could access so with the webinars the meetings we had the workshops we had access to we were embracing the social media now with facebook facebook team groups facebook messenger loops putting all these things in place so that we we could contact and be in touch with the team a lot lot more than we were before and we wanted to, to create leadership for others to follow we want to be good leaders ourselves so others will follow us and we started getting people stepping up to become leaders themselves within the team which is making a big difference for them and for the business because they're stepping up they're becoming their leaders themselves and they're now looking to lead their teams so other leaders are going to come through so we wanted to create an environment for success so that's what we started doing and that's what started to really push things on for us and to support that even more and to take it on to another level we went to Tony Robbins last night, no, last night, no, it wasn't last night, last year, in April 2016. And again, this had a profound effect on us. Walking across burning hot coals in bare feet, yeah, you think, that's bonkers. Well, we did it, didn't feel a thing. Yeah, and it's actually, it just proves to you what you can do if you get your mind in the right place. And this business is all about what goes on up here. And going to Tony Robbins, working with his stuff, coming away with the stuff we've got to come away with really had a big impact for us. And so much so we're going again this year. April this year we're going again because we want to reinforce, re recharge what we got last year, reinforce, take it to another level and get more from that. And it's well worth the investment in, uh, in that. Yeah, the investment's about £500 each, but we know that investment's going to come back to us through our business because of the growth that we're going to have. We'll be able to share that with the team and grow the business. So personal development is key. So what has it done for us? Well, okay, the personal growth has done a lot for the business, but also something else that's given us belief, more belief in ourselves. So we've got more belief from the personal development, Dave O'Connor, Tony Robbins has really helped us clear some stuff out that was stopping us. We got pulled out of the draw for Dubai in 2013. So you know we have these draws, there's one we currently have going at the moment, beat your best, that you can get a ticket in the draw, okay, so that you can get out to um, one of the destinations. Well, we got pulled out live on stage at the ICC to go to Dubai. And what a, what a feeling that was, what a buzz that was. So it can happen to us, it can happen to you. And we went to Dubai. And that changed a lot of things for us as well, because it just let us see what these holidays were all about, what went on, the people you mix with. And what it was all about and that experience was absolutely fantastic and it made us come back and say we're never going to miss one of these again we're going to make sure we get on all of them from now on so we got back got stuck into the business 2014 we got to venice we went to venice and what we did do is we tracked it we tracked what we were doing yeah and we achieved it so we knew what we were doing we knew what we had to do and we tracked to make sure we were on target to achieve it 2015 Jamaica we didn't get there didn't make it why because we didn't track it we took our foot off the pedal we carried on working but we weren't tracking what we were doing closely enough so we didn't realize that we weren't hitting where we needed to hit because we weren't tracking it so we missed it kick up the pants that was so we were back on it again tracking again Paris we did it tracked it there India tracked it got there Madrid Got there on sales plan growth, but we still track what we were doing with Monaco Marching and, and, and ourselves to make sure that the business grew, their business was growing uh, as it needed to with them, and we got to Madrid. And just recently, we've achieved Mexico, which is really, really exciting. But again, 
that was through tracking sales plan, so sales plan growth and still tracking what we were doing. So tracking is key in all aspects of the business, guys. So 2016, we had three gold distributorships. One of them turned into a senior distributorship and we became bronze executives ourselves. That means we've helped two, two people to the gold level in the business. And you can see some of the growth that we were getting here, okay? Period nine, 2015, 14, just over 14,000 pound turnover. Same period a year later, 24,758, we had growth of 73%. Period 10, growth of 29%. Period 11, growth of 47% year on year. Period 12, a growth of 41% year on year. That's because we changed things in our head, we changed how we felt about things, we changed what some of the things we were doing, and we're busy pushing it through and doing it. Okay, Our belief changed, so our attitude adjusted. And because we had a, a, a change in attitude, we took different actions maybe more actions. Actions gave us results, good results, which helped us with our belief and carried on in that cycle. And you can see already we're getting growth again with you guys. So it's not just us, it's, it's what you, the team are doing out there as well. Period two this year, 2015 period two, just over 19,000, 19 and a half thousand pound turnover. 2016, 23,700 turnover. This year, 35,800, just short of 36,000, okay? So that is a 51% growth year on year, so which is fantastic. And that's down to you guys, it's down to the things we've got in place to help you guys um, and to the stuff that you're learning, you're doing and making your businesses grow, which is absolutely fantastic. So together, we're having some great growth and great success. And now, this is a check last year, uh, October, check of 3,772 pound. But the difference with this check and the checks I showed you earlier on when we had a 4,000 pound check is, this check isn't predominantly retail now. This check is a bronze executive check and we were doing a lot less retail here than previously. I think we probably did around about 4,000 pounds worth of retail because it was a Christmas period to get this check. So a lot less retail than we were doing before. Um, so yeah, the checks are still about the same but we're changing what we're doing in the business and the balance is changing to where we are in the business in regards to what we do. The kids have all grown up, or well, they're growing up, and we've been doing this all around the kids as they're growing up. Tom's 16 now, Lillian Beck's have just turned 15, and Tasha's gonna be 12 in July. So we've worked this business around families, around the kids, and um, so you can work the business around the kids as well. The kids shouldn't stop you. So if just wrapping up then, guys, some top tips for you. I would say, make sure you work harder on yourself than you do on your job. This is come from Jim Rowan. Anything by Jim Rowan is fantastic, read his stuff. But he always said, work hard on yourself and you do your business or do your job. Um, because if you develop yourself and grow yourself, your business will grow as well. Create a belief in you and your business, yeah? Get that belief going. Take some action. Get some results. Get some belief by getting out there. Follow the number. Follow the system. Follow the, the advice of your successful upline. If you follow the numbers they give you, follow the, what they say they need to do, you will get good results. And that will give you belief and that will, you know, your attitude will be good then and you'll take more action so you'll get more good results, you'll get bigger belief. So create that belief for yourself. Associate with those making it happen. So find out who's making it happen, who's successful. Speak to them, get along to the events, find out where you can get along to talk to them and find out what they're doing and just copy what they do. And just be the best you, yeah? Be the best you you can be. Don't try and compare yourself with other people because we've all got different journeys we've been on, we've all got different baggage, we've all got different skills and abilities. Just be the best you and look to be better tomorrow than you were today. Just a quarter of a percent. And over a year, you'll be 100% better. Just try to be a quarter of a percent better tomorrow than you were today. And just to finish, some of our goals for this year, we want to be SED by the end of the year. We want to achieve the Bronze Executive Bonus, uh, mini or £10,000. What's it going to be? Because that's what you get for holding bronze executive for 13 periods out of 18, I'm sorry, 10 periods out of 18, many or 10,000 pound. So that's a decision to make. We wanna be on the autumn and international destination with the team, with some of you guys. We wanna have a 6,000 pound check. I want a motorbike and pass my motorbike test and we want some home improvements for the house. So that's some of our goals for this year. So you have gotta have goals as well, guys, to drive you forward, to make the things happen. So, Guys, your future is created by what you do today. And that's it for me on here for this little uh, 
sharing my story and just reach for the stars, guys. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I hope you got some stuff from that and uh, shared my story with you so you can uh, just know where I've come from and what, uh, and what we've done and how it's gone for us to get to where we are today. So just finishing up then, just some dates for your diary, okay? This coming Wednesday, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll have a quick look in the chat. Uh, what was in there? Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I've got good to see you, Pelena. So that's your, was that your childcare in there, that's 700 pound? Yes, it's bonkers, isn't it? Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. So tomorrow, we've got um, Helen Allgood, who's um, our upline, one of our uplines, still executive distributor in the business, coming to share some of her wisdom, her story and her wisdom and knowledge for you that can make a big difference to you guys. So if you're within, I would say, if you're within a couple of hours of Nottingham, get along guys, because it will be worth that investment in your driving time to get along. Or get a lift by now, if you can get a lift from somebody, get along. But I highly recommend you get along because it is, you will get some good stuff. And it's also known as a recruitment and business opportunity event. So you can bring guests, it's a great environment to bring your guests along to. People looking at the business, you know, invite them along get to come and meet us meet some of the other team and find out what it's all about and then this coming sunday we've got the big one down at the hilton hotel just off east Midlands airport if you've not booked for this yet guys i highly recommend you do get along we've got a great lineup we've got distributor of the year clinic is distributor of the year Eamon lynch we've got richard woods who's built a fantastic business only a young guy that's got a great business jennifer sinnott won uh, one of the challenge trophies um, for 2016 over in Ireland and, and has so much success over the last two years. She's got so much to share. Um, actually, Ian Williams is not coming now. It's Jill Nichols Nicholson, and she's a premier distributor in the business. Jill Nicholson has been in the business for many years and will have some great stuff to share with you. And last but not least, we have our MD, Michael Katkar, going to be there as well. And it's great to meet Michael and hear what he has to say because he has some great stuff as well. So, guys, £10 a ticket is, you, you, you should be charged, they should be charging more than that £100 a ticket, if not more, for people to get into this. So £10 a ticket is nothing for what you're going to get, take away from this. So if you're not booked into this yet, get booked in. Because I know there's still only a few tickets left, but there's lots of us going there on Sunday. And then we have the Clean Easy Live events, guys. Get these in your diary. Yeah, we don't usually shout about lots and lots of events all going on at the same time, but we need to about this because these are taking place in different areas of the country at different times, and you need to be looking at which one is the nearest one to me. Clean Easy used to have a summer showcase in Birmingham, but this year they've divided it out so that more people can get to get to the events because not everybody can get to that one date in Birmingham in the summer. So we've got more local events now around the country that you can access. So the first one is on 8th of April up in Falkirk up in Scotland, so you're up in that neck of the woods, get along to the Clean Easy Live. And if you're going along to a Clean Easy Live event, let us know. Because if we can, we'll get along to support you the best we can, or somebody in the, in the team will, if you're getting along, and especially if you're failing you in the business. Then we've got the Newcastle event on the 22nd of April. Whoa, we have our own, very own Mr. Michael Conroy, who's going to be speaking there in Newcastle, a live event. And we're so looking forward to seeing Michael on stage sharing his story. And I know we're going to be so proud of him up there. It's going to be absolutely flipping awesome, um, as they would say up there. And um, it's going to be great to see Michael on that stage. And also, Abby Allgood, who's also a part, part of the Star Group, um, Helen's daughter, is going to be speaking up there in Newcastle as well. So the great lineup in Newcastle. And you've got Nikki Kaywood as well, who's smashing it at the moment on the online side, uh, constantly beat, we're hitting the PSGs and the top sponsoring numbers. So another great event, Newcastle, in that area, get along. And then we've got, somebody's on the screen here with a red pen. I don't know how that happens, but that's happened a few times. Somebody's on there using a pen somewhere, and it comes through, I don't know how that works. I don't know how to stop that, actually. If you're using a red pen and you're on your screen, it's you. Please stop. Um, and then we've got the Clean Easy Live Aintree um, going up, going, uh, taking place at Aintree. We've got another star group team member, Neil Loma, is going to be speaking there as well. So if you're in the Aintree area, get along to that one. 13th of May, we have Epsom. Again, another Star Group member speaking there. Emma Kiffin, who I mentioned earlier on, who was a solicitor, who, um, who gave up her job to start home with her kids. And then Cheltenham, we've got some guy called Harvey Kent speaking there, um, which is I'm really, really looking forward to. Actually, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Craig White as well. Craig's really, really good to hear. Laura Kelly, um, Julie, David Bibby, and um, 
Chris Halston. So great lineup of speakers at Cheltenham, and we're, we're, we're at the moment we're at Newcastle and Cheltenham. Um, whether we get to any more depends on where people are, and um, and then there's also one out in Dublin. So um, we've got a, a live event out in Dublin. If anybody's out in Ireland, so make sure you get to booked into one of the live events, guys. And then just finishing up with the events. Remember your ten steps workshops because these give you the knowledge, the stuff to build your business with. And again, you can meet a mix with other successful people. We had a great event just gone in Birmingham and the next one up in Scotland is 18th of March, which is this Saturday if you're up the Scotland way. Then we've got the Yorkshire one, 26th of March. And I know the Yorkshire one is a small venue. If you wanted to go there, get booked in because they will sell out if they're not sold out already. Then we have the South East one down just um, east side of London. So if you're down south, that's the one for you. And then we have the Bristol one, Saturday 8th of April, which myself and Tracy run. And then we have the Birmingham one again, Sunday 23rd of April. So get yourself booked into 10 Steps Workshop, guys. And this is the page you want. This is where you want to go to do that at the 10 Steps resource site, www.the10steps.info forward slash workshops. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for being on. I hope you got lots on that. And um, yeah, well done again on period three. Into period four now. We've had a great start already. Let's say five people sponsored. The retail order's going through. Lots of you excited out there. So let's make it happen, guys. Let's really kick period four on now and look, look forward to seeing you at lots of events. Look forward to seeing many of you tomorrow night, Wednesday at the BOM and seeing you at Sunday at the big one. So thanks, guys. Reach for the stars and have a good evening. See you soon.